Hi. The Bible tells us that David was a man after God's own heart. That must mean David was really good, doesn't it? Well, maybe not so much. David practiced the sin of polygamy, which was against the law of Moses for king of Israel. David had a total of eight named wives, women in the Bible that were named and were David's wives. And the Bible indicates that he had many more concubines and several unnamed wives. We also know that he committed adultery with Bathsheba. Now, was this really an affair like they want you to believe? Or doesn't an affair assume mutual consent? Was it even possible for Bathsheba to give consent when he was the king? So in fact, that was not a consensual relationship at all. It was sex abuse. He also, once he got a little bit of Bathsheba, he also conspired to have her husband Uriah killed in battle. Christians say that what is commendable about David is that he handled his sin in a biblical manner. In other words, he asked for forgiveness so that there was grace on God's part to forgive and humility on his part to ask for forgiveness. The story of David is used to justify all of the crimes and sins committed by Christian pastors and others of power within the church, including fraud, embezzlement, and they call homosexuality a sin, and we know that many of them have practiced it, and greed, but probably most egregious are the sins of sex abuse against grown women and even more so against children in their church. Furthermore, the, the story of David is used to justify the near worship of Donald Trump. We didn't elect him as pastor. We elected him to lead our country in its time of need. Well, what does it mean to be a man after God's own heart? Makes me think that maybe God doesn't have the best heart after all. Bye-bye.